Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Marco Faria Correa from Dr. Marco Plastic Surgery. My clinic is situated at Novina Mont Elizabeth Hospital. I'm here for you. Today, I will talk about the core muscles, the rectal diastasis, and how the rectal diastasis or the gap in between the core muscle can affect our daily lives, not only cosmetically, but functionally. The core muscle, it is set of muscle that uh, take up the anterior abdominal wall, lower back, connect to the pelvic floor muscle. Rect diastasis is a gap in between these two muscles and how we get it. Basically, is an individual condition due to our type of collagen. But pregnancies, obesity can help more, can help or can deteriorate this, can stretch this midline and causing this so-called rect diastasis. Depending on the degree of this gap, by exercise you still can improve the function of our core muscle, our pelvic floor muscle, but more than 2-3 cm and a person that already having symptoms of this dysfunction of the core muscle, it should be surgically correct. Physical examination, palpating the rectus muscle when you do a sitting up, uh, line, from lying down to sit up position, normally you present a bulge, in, a small bulge, a big bulge in this area, but we can palpate with your fingers, there is a gap in between the two muscles. And also by ultrasound, abdominal wall ultrasound, you can confirm the, the presence of rectus diastasis and how big it is. From the physiotherapy, when just a small degree that we still can reeducate your muscle and reactivate everything, then like less than 3 cm, many times eligible to just work with physiotherapy. If bigger than that, like the 3 to 5 or, so, or more than 6, that the severe degree already, only surgically we can correct. Then, different methods, putting mesh to, to correct via intra-abdominal or on lay, we call, on, the, on top of the muscle, on the top of the muscle, repairing it. Then, I use the, the repairing muscle, that's a very traditional way and time proof by stitching the muscle all the way from the chiphoids to the pubis. And, Sometimes associate removing excessive skin, that's what we call the abdominoplasty. Sometimes just repairing the muscle using minimally invasive methods. That can be endoscopy or robotic surgery. Robotic surgery is a kind of high-tech uh, method using this Da Vinci robot that we can work through very minimal incisions, leaving minimal scars, and we noted that it really represents a short recovery time, less risk of seroma complications. Then is a method that we are electing for those that have no previous scar, uh, still not over over redundant skin, then can enjoy the repair of the muscle with non-visible, very minimal scars. Both men and women can have rectal diastasis because this is due to this distension from in out can be due to obesity can be due to pregnancies that stretch it all 
and cause the rapid diastasis. If you doubt about your condition, please consult a professional that can properly advise you.